Welcome to Project 58 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating this simple rotating text project by just using HTML and CSS. No JavaScript, no nothing. Okay, so this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS and no JavaScript, nothing. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right to our coder and write our code. First of all, create a folder. Let me give a name of like 058. And now let me just give a name of like rotating, rotating text. Okay, inside this folder, we are going to be creating three files. The first one will be index.html. The second one will be just tile.css. And we are good to go. So let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can focus on everything a bit clear. All right, so for HTML, we are going to be just writing our doc type HTML. And then let me just change the, let me just change the title to like CSS rotating text. Okay, and now let's just link it with our css file so now let me just link it with our css file and then zoom out a bit so that we can see everything a bit clear let me just collapse that metadata and now let me just open with a live server okay so now we are live so for html side we are going to be just writing like div with a class of outer headings and inside this outer headings we are going to be writing h1 and here i'm going to be just writing like im and then comma then let me just create another div which will be like inner headings and inside this inner heading we will have a span and now let's just write our stuff like i'm a ui ux um designer and now let me just write a br to just give us a little bit break and duplicate it a few times and now let's just change this text to like front end developer and also this text to like back end developer and uh, the developer okay so now let's just change this final one to like a full stack developer and you can choose how many you like so now let me just change this one to just a full stack developer and now we are good to go so once we save our file so the first thing we have for html is we have our outer headings container and inside these outer headings we have this h1 right here and we just wrote like i am and then we have like inner headings div and inside these inner headings we have this span and then we have like ui and ux designer front developer backend developer and full stack developer okay so that's that for html now let's jump right into a css and now let's just format our page a bit so the first thing i will select is like i will just select everything in css now here we're going to be just writing a font family of sans serif margin will be zero padding will be also zero okay so that's the reset so now let's just select our outer headings so now let me just keep this outer headings height i'm going to give him like 100 vh display will be totally flex because we want everything to be center justify kind of will be center flex direction direction will be column and also align items will be center okay so once we save our file so here you can see everything is now perfectly center and i guess i'll just go side by side so that we can focus on both of the stuff in one time so now let me just get my h1 which is this h1 where are you which is this h1 right here okay so now let me get there and just write like font size of 45 pixel not 46 but 45 pixels save it and now everything is a bit better okay now let's just select our inner headings which will be these inner headings okay so now let me just get there and now border will be zero pixel and solid and let me just write ddd ddd okay and height will be just 50 pixel and line height will be just like 50 pixel as well and now we have a font size of 45 pixel let me just give 45 pixel and then we have a text transform of everything will be capitalized i mean like uppercase and then finally our flow will be hidden so once we save our file so now here you can see we give them a height of 50 pixel and we wrote like overflow hidden so that other text will be gone so it will be hidden underneath that uh, container so now if i just comment this overflow hidden and if i just save it so here you can see we have this text right here and if i uncomment this overflow of hidden so here you can see that text is gone inside that container okay so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to select our span which is inside this inner headings okay so now let me just get my inner headings and now let's just get our span 
and now let me just write like position of relative to it and also color will be crimson and for now we are going to be creating this animation so now let me just give my animation property and animation name will be animation and now let's just give him like 10 second ease and then infinite for infinity so once we save it here you can see the colors change so we don't have this animation so now let's just create this animation so for that let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can see our css a bit better all right so let me just create my keyframe and give a name of like animation because we give this name animation right there so now we have to just write this animation because we want to create this animation all right so starting from the first which will be like from zero percent to uh, let me just write a comma and 100%. Okay, and now let's just write top and zero. This is a position relative, so that's why we can now use this uh, top and bottom, left and right properties. And now let's just write 20 pixel, not 20 pixel, but 20%, the, or top will be also zero. Okay, so now let's just write 25%, and or top will be like minus 50 pixel not percent not percent but pixel in this time and now let's just write like 45 percent and now let's just get or top to be minus 50 pixel one more time okay so that's them now let's just write or 50 percent and we have to just write like top will be minus 100 pixel okay and now we have to write or 70 percent and now let's just give him a top of minus 100 pixel now the next thing which you have to do is to just write 75 percent and here we are going to be just writing top will be minus 150 pixel and finally we just have to write 95 and we are done okay 95 percent will be now top will be more 150 pixels so once we save it it will take a little bit of time because we provide or animation in there so now let me just show you that because we provide a 10 second delay to it so that's why it will take a little bit of time so now let me just make it a bit bigger so this is how it looks like okay and if you want to change the background color so it will look a little bit weird but if you just change it like uh, i don't know let me just get my body and here just change the background to like teal maybe save it and this is now looking a bit weird if we change the i don't know like let's change it to black and now we cannot see the stacks uh let's just change it to something else like cool color let me just found a few cool color i don't know there are not zero cool colors but i don't know you know i'll just uh, select this hot pink and save it still looking ugly so that's why we have to remove this body and that color all right so this is now perfectly centered we have front end developer we have back end developer we have our full stack developer and finally we have ui and ux developer designer to be precise all right so that's that and now we are totally done with our project so this is what i want to show you so now the next thing which i'm going to do is that if you guys don't know about get and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right to the next project but if you guys do know about get and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now so first of all let me just launch my new git bash and remove that powershell from there and now we are working on 058 so now let's just write git status it will give us like 058 so now let's just git add everything and git push uh, oh we forgot to do a comment so git comment of like uh, i don't know what was the name uh rotating text okay so that's there now let me just clear the terminal git push of push of come on a push of origin main and now let's just push our code into our github repository so we push our code into our github repository so now let's just refresh that and it will now give us that project o58 all right so now here you can see we have this o58 project if i click on that so here you will find the html code which will be this code and here you can find the css code which will be right here okay Alright, so I think that was it about today's video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.